Hello everyone, it's Miss Amy and it is craft time. And today I have a fabulous craft that anybody can do. Families can do it, teens, it's a great teen activity. I am wearing my shirt and uh, this is one that I made a couple years ago and it is made with, so you have a t-shirt, you'll need a t-shirt or a piece of fabric um, to do it on. And then I have some doilies. I have two different size heart doilies. Two is really all you need, or even just one if you have. Um, and then you need uh, some uh, just uh, acrylic paint. So what I'm gonna do is put a bunch of colors of acrylic paint onto here. Um, and then I, uh, I'm just gonna put some blops around so that y'all can see. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of different pink and red blops everywhere, all over this, all different shades of pink and red so that I have lots of different Colors. Uh, let's see, bright red. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. One more. Maybe this is a lighter pink. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, so um, I've got one, two, three, four, uh, five, six um, colors. I have my doilies. Um, I have water so that I can mix in between. I have a paper towel so that I can, I want you to guys to be able to see this. I'm just gonna put this right here. Um, so I have a paper towel so that I can um, wipe off my brush in between colors uh, so that it's not really sloppy and wet. Um, so I have just a regular old brush. And what I'm gonna do so that it doesn't go through one side to the other is I'm gonna put just a piece of corrugated cardboard inside my t-shirt. Okay, so I'm gonna put this like this. I'm gonna go right inside, just like this. Okay, just like that. Okay, and I'm gonna pull it fairly snug so that it is on there like that. Okay, so fairly snug like that and like that. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I am going to put down the doily and then I'm going to take um, paint and I'm going to start um, just going like this and I'm just going to I'm, I'm doing it so that I fill the holes of the doily okay and I'm just going to fill the holes and you can see where you've missed um, you know pink or whatever you and you can still see a little of the white get a little bit more and some of the doily, uh, you know, won't, it, not all the little holes are um, undone, and that's okay. Uh, it's not a perfect thing. Um, it's just messy and quick, but it is so cool. A friend of mine a few years ago uh, said, look at this, you should do this, and I did. And it was so easy, but I've never actually done it um, together. So I am super excited to do this for you guys and show you how to do this because it is so cool. Okay, so now I'm literally going to just pick that up and look, you can see, I want you to see this, you can see that it's left, okay? And there's some that are um, more than others. And the cool thing is, although I have to move my, uh, um, change my brush or rinse out my brush, 
I do not have to change my, um, I don't have to change the doily because it doesn't matter. It's gonna go through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do the dark color, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick a little bit of the bottom of this out because it has a few spots Okay, all right, that did, did a few more. Okay, so I'm gonna do this so that it kind of goes off to the side. So I'm just gonna start again with another color. And I'm just dabbing all of the white spaces on here, okay? And I'm gonna move this a little closer so that you can see. And I'm just holding this and I'm all in here and I'm just filling all of the holes with paint just by dabbing I'm gonna go over the arm right there onto the shoulder another one oh, I like this one okay so let's do um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this one down let's put this one down right here I'm, I'm rinsing out my brush again I'm gonna get the water out okay, so that it's not super sloppy and I'm gonna do the light color okay so then this is gonna be a little of both, then that is just fine. That's why I didn't, it didn't matter for me to um, have to change the doily up. And the doilies are stiff enough that they don't get, um, they don't get um, soggy as long as you don't have too much water on it. Uh, so you can use it over and over again to make your shirt. Just make sure that you are getting all of the little spots that are open like that and then pick it up again like that. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's let's do another color. Let's do a bright red. Okay, same thing. So are you getting the idea? You keep moving this. Um, actually, uh, instead of the little one, I'm gonna try the big one. Okay, so you can see the big one. So I just put the big doily down here, and I'm gonna do this one. over here with a little more paint on here okay and let's get a little more 
of this and this is such a great activity so um, you can do this uh, you can do this you could do a pillowcase if you wanted to decorate a pillowcase it doesn't have to be a t-shirt or a shirt um, I went to my local Goodwill and I just bought like a nice um, a nice jersey um, long sleeve or three-quarter sleeve top so it wasn't just a t-shirt so it was a little a little more attractive for a woman um, you know not just a plain old t-shirt because I get tired of wearing t-shirts okay so now I'm gonna pull that one up Ooh, I love it all right guys I'm just gonna show you this uh, because this is just beautiful I love this so um, I want you to try this. So get yourself a t-shirt, get yourself a shirt, go to your Goodwill, look in your closet, see what you have. You can do this with a hanky or whatever. Once you're done, uh, you need to set your shirt in the dryer, uh, just all by itself. Do 20 minutes in the dryer on high uh, to um, dry it after it's dried for 24 hours. Um, don't put it in the dryer wet because uh, you'll have paint all over the place. And then, uh, and then it's ready to wear. You can wash it uh, just with soap or water. You don't have to hand wash. You can throw it in the, um, the washer and dryer once it's been set. Happy creating. Hugs. Uh, like, share, comment, follow, subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my craft videos, book talks for teens and tweens, or um, story times for the Camden Public Library. Hugs, have a great day and happy Valentine's Day. Now you have something to wear.